The latest U.S. spying allegations saying that uh, American intelligence services tapped into conversations of millions and millions of Europeans, including some top politicians like German Chancellor Angela Merkel, has really been a challenge to EU-U.S. relationship. And just recently the European Parliament sent a delegation to Washington to get more information on this matter. And the head of that delegation, British MEP Claude Morris, is not satisfied with the information he got from the Americans. To be honest, um, we're part of a parliamentary inquiry. We can't compel uh, witnesses to tell us everything. Um, and we got some clarity, but we didn't get the full 100% answers. The investigation of the European Parliament will continue, but as Claude Morris says, they can't force the Americans to give more information. The question is really, what can Europe actually do to make sure the US does not spy on Europeans and tap into their phones? Put political pressure on the US is one option, for instance in the transatlantic trade negotiations that just started. Media reports say that Germany wants to include data protection in these talks. Although not confirmed by the EU nor by the Germans, this could have a major impact and delay and even threaten the whole trade deal. Within the European Commission, some also argue that apart from putting political pressure, the EU could also take more bold actions. One of the most outspoken critics of US surveillance has been EU Justice Commissioner Vivian Redding, who earlier this week proposed that Europe creates its very own intelligence service. Because also intelligence services should not operate in a legal free zone. And I think we have a very strong uh, NSA in the United States, but we have no European counterweight. At the moment it seems that national intelligence services are not cooperating, but they're actually trying to play against each other, not together. So the Vice President of the European Commission, the EU Justice Commissioner Vivian Redding, thinks that Europe should do better in order to uh, level the playing field with the United States and create a counterweight, a European NSA. The idea of a common European intelligence service has been raised before, but there's always been resistance from some member states like the UK. MEP Claude Morris does not think it's realistic. The European Union is not a country. The European Union is not a sovereign state, so for it to have an intelligence service is a big jump. And my gut instinct is that this is not the right model.